Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of my survival series. You're joining me here once again in my survival world where everything is lighter. We have floating trees, floating islands, floating houses, floating obsidian, and if you guys could see even further in that direction, you could see a big giant floating arrow, but unfortunately we can't see it. We don't have the view distance, we're not on PC. Don't worry, I'm working on that. Eventually this series will take to the PC version of Minecraft. Don't believe- that's a lie. Don't believe that. I, I was just lying. I don't know why I said that. Don't believe anything I say. 70% of the stuff's a lie. Which may also be a lie. <clears throat> We're kind of on a weird tangent. Let's let's cut this. I don't know what I'm talking about. That was weird. It almost sounds like I was trying to make an advert for my world. Almost as if like it's a holiday destination. I wanted you guys to come to my survival world. Which I don't. This is my world. Stay out. I'm not a sociable person. Alright, so anyway, moving on to something a little more relevant. Oh my god, I was so close to hitting the ground there, I could see it. My life flashed before my eyes, my very, very short life. So what happened last episode? What's going to happen this episode? Well, in the last episode of the Survival Series, we went through a nether portal, which was located on that far left island right there, and a pigman actually followed me the way back through. I wonder if he's still up there. I should have probably have checked. He's probably not. He's probably made his way down to the village by now. He's probably gonna look for the butcher. He's not gonna be happy with him. So we went into the nether and we found out that it's really not as scary as we thought. The only the only danger there is me. I am the danger. And ghasts. And the fire. And the lava. There's lots of forms of lava in the nether. Lava, fire, gas that shoot fire, more fire, there's lots of fire. I don't like it down there personally. Anyway, we kind of discovered all of that pocket of the nether that had that we had access to us in that portal right there. So we moved the portal and now we have a lot more to explore, which is exactly what we're going to be doing in this episode. All I've been doing just before I started off the recording, I harvested some wheat and made myself some bread since that's the only stuff that we need. Oh, I also picked up an iron pickaxe, which I had in a chest, which is kind of bad and it's kind of damaged, but you know, we're very quickly running out of this diamond pickaxe. So we have everything we need, probably not for a lengthy stay in the nether, but I would really love to find the this nether fortress that I've heard so much about. And by heard so much about, I mean I kind of got a tooltip when I discovered some weird red looking stuff on the floor. So, uh, which way did we go the last time we were in here? I think that we went up, so this time we should probably go down. And let's try and find this portal. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, which way will Steve go? Steve will go this way. This is definitely the way that we have to go. Look guys, that's the stuff that I'm talking about. What What's this stuff called? Let me crack this open. It is called... Bum 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 bum, never wart. Absolutely just oh my god. Whew, snuck up on me. I'm so glad that was a magma cube. I didn't think it was a pigman. They're not aggressive. They love me. I think he's cooking himself. He's probably hungry. Anyway, we found some never wart, and you know how you sometimes get tooltips when you first discover some stuff? It mentioned in there that they're at like the entrances of or in or around never fortresses. And I want to find one of these things. I want to try and find like a blaze, you know, the mob, the blaze, because I think that we need to find one of those so that we can harvest his rod. Ah, that's uh, that's that's an innuendo on a half. I'm going to roll with it, though. We need some blaze rods so we can make, I believe, a brewing stand, which I don't have the pattern for at the moment since I don't have a crafting chest, but this is definitely not the way. Did I say that this was the way to the fortress? I, I didn't. What have I been collecting? What is this stuff? There's no dirt in the nether. What's, what's this? Soul sand! Ah, oh, my heart and soul. I love this stuff. It slows you. Does it damage you? Probably not. No, it doesn't damage you. I'll probably find a use for this. Let me grab, like, 20 blocks of this stuff. I might be able to, like... I Honestly, I was going to say I might be able to fortify my island with it, but my first instinct is to use it to mess with the villagers that live on my island, so that's probably what's going to happen, but yeah, nobody ever mentioned that this is the way to the fortress, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go back the way we came, and we're going to forget that we came this way, let's, uh, let's hop back this way, okay, 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 which way shall we go now? Into the deadly fire pit, or up where we, did we, let me see, guys. Let me let me determine exactly which way we did we did go last time because we did kind of hit a dead end last time. We we came in this direction, I think, did we? Let me see. It might have been where that pigman is now. We might have we might have kind of kind of went this way. We may have graced the Never. Yeah, we definitely came this way, and then we went up there, and then we found nothing. So that is that is not the way that we're going to go. We got hello. 
That's a pretty big one. I've not... And a smaller one. I've, I've not seen the Magma Cube that big. What do they even drop? I'm... I, I don't... Oh my god, other than tiny cubes. Eh. No. No, leave me alone. Ah, they drop experience. They are a wealth of knowledge and experience. Level 14. I wish there was a... Hang on. What's this? Magma Cream. Perfect. I can use that to put out my fire wounds. Ah... I burn a lot in the nether. I don't know whether it's just me or whether I'm fair skinned. Maybe it's the fire. I don't know, but I seem to I seem to get really tanned, almost too tanned in the nether. Let's uh let's see. I guess we've got to go this way because we can't go up and we can't go the way that we go. Are those special mushrooms? Those might be special mushrooms. They kind of look like they belong in Mario, don't they? Let's let's see. Regular mushrooms. They could have at least made nether mushrooms. They could have made, like, purple mushrooms or something. I don't know what they'd do. They'd probably turn you into Waluigi or something. Let's, uh, let's see. I guess we've got to go down even further. I, I don't want to... I've already been this way. I, this is me. This is regular dirt, which, which means that I was here, because... Yeah, yeah, that's definitely regular dirt, but maybe I didn't explore this place. You know what, guys? Worst comes to worst. We're just gonna crack open another portal somewhere else and find one of these damn fortresses, because I want this brewing stand. I also want an enchanting table. I can't remember what I need for one of those things, though. Um, oh my god. Oh, I thought that that was just like a big giant smoke thingy. Like the smoke monster from Lost, I thought I just saw that thing. I'm getting a little freaked out in the Never. I think it's bringing out the worst in me. So, um, I, I get, whoa, whoa, we we almost went headfirst into love there. I was a little too vigorous with the analog stick. So let's uh, let's go this way. Let's let's see what's happening. The pigmen are here, which means it's it's got to be at least semi habitable. Ah, uh, how do we? I don't want to go near the edge of anything because honestly, I don't trust ghasts. Um. Okay, we need to make it over there, I guess, and see see if we can get anything. I I feel as though a problem might be, and I'm pretty sure I, I had this quote from... I think it's Pirates of the Caribbean, I think it's Barbosa, he's like, Ah, the journey is not... it's not hard getting there, but it's hard getting back. Absolutely butchered that quote. Did I say I knew what I was talking about? I... You see, you see, look at that ghast. He would look nothing more than to see me die is what he wants to do. He's very slowly chipping away here, and he knows that I want to make it down there, and I'm just not invited to his birthday party, which upsets me. Um, I think that's a skeleton. I could kill him. Why aren't I killing him? Get oh my god. I think he wants to knock the ground from underneath me and then slay me. I think that that's his main idea. So how do we navigate the never? That is what I'm wondering. How do we, how do, we do this? Ah... If we got on that side, maybe it'd be easier. So we're going to make it onto onto that way, and then we're kind of just going to, like, follow the ground, and we're... <laughs> did I say ground weird? Ground... Ground weird. Yeah, <clears throat> that's probably offensive. So we'll... We, we're just creating more problems. Um, we're creating a lot more problems for ourselves, so... Uh, ah, let's make our way here, and we'll just have to... We'll just have to make a... A walkway through the lava, and I... Guys, if you see a ghast, you tell me about it, because I do not want to burn. Um, burning is the last thing that I would like to do, and... I thought I, I thought I saw one in my peripheral. I'm getting a little crazy. Um, we're just very slowly using a super-secret crouching technique, and making sure that we don't fall off these blocks. I assume that it works like this. I assume that it will let us just build across lava and it's not just for like building sky fortresses and stuff, so um, we'll put that out. I'm really sick of this fire. If I could implement one item into Minecraft, it would be the hose pipe. And uh, I see that gas, but I don't think he sees me. Let's, let's see, can we get this guy how far? That was absolutely abysmal. So was my deflecting skill. Uh, you know, we'll, um, eh, one, two, oh, I was so sure I was going into the lava there, this is, uh, this is freaky. That direction, more fire, ha it's really hard to get a bearing of where you are in the nether, because that's either an enderman or a wither skeleton, and honestly, I don't, oh, for God's sake, uh, one, He's in the... 
Cool. Okay. Can I recollect this arrow if I... Yes, I can. How do we... How do we get through here? We... We are having a terribly awful time with this, aren't we? Let's, um, let's see. So this is... We need to get over there before a new guest appears, quite frankly. We're, go we're going to take a... Well, I don't want to... Uh, hang on. Here? There we go. Okay, so we're just going to pretend that nothing else exists, and we're just going to make this path and hope that a gas doesn't kill us on the way over, and we're just going to do this as fast as possible. We've had uh, pretending nothing else exists. I wish I had a song to sing whilst crossing the lava. Maybe I'll have to make one. I, um... <clears throat> eh. And... And we've not been killed by a ghast on the way over. Look at us. Look at us. I'm... I'm so proud of us. We've made it this far. That is a wither skeleton who is running over at us very quickly, trying to inflict wither, but not managing to do it, and we get the bone. That is what we're after. I wish I had a pet dog to feed it to. What is that? That's a pigman just kind of stuck in that cave. Oh, is this, is this somewhere? Ah, <sighs> wither skeleton's hiding in every, in every turn, and he, he did it, didn't he? Oh, God. I, eh? Uh, steak. Steak. There we go. Maybe that's what we need. That's Maybe that's what I'd one shot a wither skeleton if we could stake him very much like a vampire. This is pr this probably isn't the way. The images that I've seen of a nether fortress are... They're so big that you wouldn't be able to conceal them in just like... I, like, they wouldn't be hidden behind a wall, is what I'm trying to say. Like, they'd have to be, like, out in the open. I really thought that we'd find one. Where... Where are they? I'll tell you what, we do We do need glowstone. That is a thing that we actually need, because we lost all of the glowstone that I gathered the first time I was in the nether, because we kind of burned to death. That was a thing that happened. We kind of incinerated, so... Um, oh my god! He launched me quite far. I'm not entirely sure what this magma cream does. I don't... I'd, well, we have more of it now. Getting getting back out of the Never is definitely going to be definitely going to be some form of ideal. Ideal? It's not going to be ideal. That's the opposite of what it's going to be. It's going to be an ordeal. Ah, oh, it's going to be a real mess. We're going to have to scale some. You know what? Actually, it might be it might be kind of easy. I'm going to keep killing these magma cubes because, for all I know, the magma cream is extremely rare and we need it. And should should I go down here? Is this something that I should do? Should I come down here? This, this kind of seems promising, does... <sighs> you know, I thought that the regular world was disappointing. Ah, everywhere's fire with the Never. It's all about the fire. It is. There, there's nothing more than fire in the Never. There's, that's it. That's all you get from the Never. There is no hand-holding. It doesn't love you. It's not even going to pretend to like you. It is just fire. That's all there is down here. You know, as I was saying, like, I, I thought I received absolutely no love from, like, the dungeon that I, I was busy, you know, that I was busy working on before we found a much more interesting place in the nether, you know, digging through walls, hoping to find stuff. Sometimes you find stuff down there. In the nether, you only find lava. You see what I mean? It's just lava. Lava everywhere. Do we need more quartz? Probably. I've not tried to refine this stuff yet. I don't even know if it is quartz, but odds are it probably is. Ugh. More f <laughs> More lava. Ah. If you were to go to a dinner party in the Never, you would just... There wouldn't even be a menu. It would just be a bowl filled with lava, with a side ordering of fire. That is all they would give you, and they wouldn't offer you a vegetarian option. Their vegetarian option is to cook you and serve you to other carnivores. I don't know what these... G <laughs> They've got a real problem. Then again, I can't, I can't be massively surprised that this isn't a friendly place. I mean, it is burdened by pigmen, which are essentially just half-dead pigs with the flesh rotting off of them, and they do kind of traverse this place with gold swords. I can't, I can't say that I'm massively surprised that this isn't hospitable. So we have a couple of ways to go. That seems like a really open way, and we're going, and we also have this way to go as well. I'm going to collect these mushrooms. Um, because for all I know, I think I can actually turn them into food if worse comes to worse. Can I can I do this now or do I need do I need like a recipe? Mushroom stew. You see if I find another form of mushroom, 
I can I can turn it into mushroom stew, which is a good thing. I, I can definitely find the other mushrooms easy enough. I can actually just go to the mushroom biome if I wanted to. Maybe that's the next place we'll place the nether portal, the mushroom biome. So we came from this way, right? We're going to have to start marking ourselves because this is um, this is getting a little silly. So we will um, we'll put ourselves a marker somewhere. Um, we'll, I guess we'll use a torch because there's no real, there's no other real reason to use a torch here. Um, and we'll, we'll have like, we'll make a bit of an arrow. So I know this is a very crude arrow guys, and it's going to look like more of a plus shape than anything else. But that's just to, you know, kind of tell me that that's where I came from because I would like to leave here with my life given the opportunity. You know what would be smart? I've just realized what would be a really easy way to escape the never without having to kind of like Hansel and Gretel your way back through. What if I just brought materials for another never? Oh my god. I think I think I just found the mother load of quartz. I think I just saw it over there in the distance. I think I just found an incredible amount of quartz. Can you guys see over there? Ah, oh, damn it. I think it's bedrock. Ah, this, the most unforgiving place in Minecraft, let's, let's get out the, we, what do we, what don't we need, we don't really need to keep track of our arrows, so we, those can go back in the inventory, we'll, um, we'll take out the other pickaxe, because I, I'm really starting to get concerned about this diamond one, and we don't need a, a, a fantastic pickaxe just to break hellstone, so, um, did we come from that way or not? I can't see anything that looks even remotely promising, so... Um, that's definitely bedrock, that's not worth our time. I guess we'll go the other way. <sighs> if we don't find anything by the end of this episode, guys, I'll, um... I'll, I'll either crack open another portal and kind of just, like, scan it myself before doing it on recording, or I will, um, I will, you know make my way to a fortress, I'll, I'll completely find it, and then we'll just do it on recording, I guess. I guess that's what we, we might have to do, since this is... I don't know how entertaining this is. Mushrooms! Hey! How you doing? These are the other mushrooms that I've been talking about. You see these guys? I love these mushrooms. Actually, I like the red ones more. The red ones definitely look tastier. Um, <laughs> You see, I, I just about give... Is that a tiny pigman, or is he just far up? That is a tiny... Guys. Guys. Guys? Guys. Look at that. Look at him. That is a tiny pigman. Which means... Which can only mean one thing. Somewhere very, very close in this direct vicinity must be, surely, a mob spawner. That's, that's the only reason that you'd be able to get a tiny pigman, I think. But the reason that I say this, I once encountered a very tiny zombie, and I, I I was kind of perplexed about it, kind of how I am about the tiny pigman. And the reason for the zombie, the only reason that he was able to spawn, was because there was like a, a zombie mob spawner nearby. So that leads me to believe that there's got to be some sort of pigman mob spawner somewhere, somewhere very close, and that is a giant magma cube. My god, look at the size of him! He's huge! Oh, he's got to drop all of the cream! And he's he's stuck! He's dead! Oh my, oh god, oh god! Yeah. Ah! Whoa! Look at that, I can already see some. I, I hope that that's useful for something. Fire resistance would be nice, I've just got some more. Oh god, look at this, this is a wonderful time. Oh, we're just mowing them all down. Oh, that was wonderful. God, I love it when they all just drop dead in front of me. This is just with an iron sword. Imagine if I actually had a good one. Yeah, see see how many pigmen there are here? Where are they coming from? I need to follow them. Is there is there an entrance? There's way too many. There's another tiny one. Where where are they? Here? Where? They, they've got to be, it's got to be close, it's got to be a mob spawner. I'm not so much interested in the spawner itself, I'm way more interested in what's in the chest. 
that's next to the spawn, and maybe, you know what, I, I'm making assumptions, that this might not even be a thing, that might not even be true, that they, like, only tiny versions of mobs can come from a, from a spawner, I mean, there's a possibility that just down in the nether the things are different, like the rules are different, but I don't know, I've got, I've got to believe that they're coming from somewhere, like, are they dropping from the sky or something? Maybe they're dropping from a ledge. Nah, there's no holes or anything in the ceiling. That's a real shame. But then again, are they? They all seem kind of collected here. Ah, oh, I can't. I, I don't think. I, I don't think I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna kill. I'm going to collect these mushrooms just in case I need some more food. I think I need a bowl or something to make them. Though, hang on. Um. Yeah, I need a bowl, which I'm guessing, just guessing, I'll need clay for. If I was to suppose, I'm using RuneScape rules to use uh, to figure out how to make a bowl. Maybe down here. Probably not down there. That that is some form of ruse, some form of death trap. I don't want to go that way. Ah, uh, maybe maybe I'll see where they spawn from a little bit later, like if I look over here. Maybe it'll be really obvious and apparent where I have to go to see where they come from, but um at the moment I'm not uh, I'm not seeing it. Isn't it a coincidence that there's just so many of them around? I don't know. I'll have to look it up. I assume that you can get like pigmen mob, mob spawners. Like I I'm making an assumption, but you know. Maybe is it down there? Can I see? Can I see? Let me see. Let's uh, let's go on the level a little bit. I don't, I don't think there's anything over there. That just seems like fire and death. Seeing a lot of stuff that kind of seems like really man-made. They love to cook themselves. Another tiny one. See that? Maybe. And there's more never wart as well. This is ah. Uh... I've, well, every time I feel as though I'm getting closer, I just, I, there's just absolutely no evidence that this fortress is even around. I mean, okay, we found some glowstone here, so we'll, we'll crack this open, we'll mine this. I could use some glowstone, glowstone would be cool. I think this is actually opening up a little bit of a cave as well, which, I mean, if this takes us to the mob spawn, that would be excellent. Wouldn't this be nice? Can we turn a corner there, or is, uh, ah. Uh, how cool would it have been if something was hiding in that cave there? I'm go I'm just I'm gonna mine through this wall just a little bit, just a little bit. There's a small part of me that's just like, come on, there's got to be something. Let's use the iron pickaxe for this. No, oh, what a drag! Come on, come on. I'm level 20, by the way, guys. Look, I don't think I've ever been as high as level 20. Not that I've, you know, never gathered enough experience for it. I just die, like, every time I gain, like, five levels. There's nothing that way, either. Oh, what a heartbreak. They should... Oh, that's a guest over there. Need to be careful, then. Um, they, they should just call the Never just, like, the place of broken dreams. I would love it if there was a mob spawner. Oh, I wonder what would be in it. I wonder what would be in the chest. We'll take the safe way. Oh, uh, hello. Hello, magma cube. I'm no longer afraid of these tiny magma cubes. Not after seeing that big giant one. Give me more magma cream. Magma cream surely has to be used in some form of fire resistance potion or something like that. Um, I can't say that for certain, but this is that's just my guess. I kind of hope I'm right. Um... We'll ignore the quartz, we don't need that. There's no real reason for us to pick the mushrooms at the moment, because we, we've not got any bowls, and I think we've got a high enough quantity of them anyway. And we can always come back down here if we decide that we need any more. Um, hello? Nobody home? Ah! There's a ghast floating in that direction. I've got the bow, not too many arrows. Five, that's enough to kill two and a half. Another magma cube. We're just going to keep killing these again, just because, you know... Well, actually, I kind of wouldn't mind the experience as well. I know that experience is needed for... Hello, Wither Skeleton. How are you? Ah, very aggressive, I see. Not happy today, are we? No. I do not want to wither, thank you. There we go. Um, another magma cube over here. I, I'm almost tempted to mine into the quartz, but both of my pickaxes are kind of like a... Uh, to critical mass. I, I don't think that I can mine too much more with them. 
Um, another pigman. Goal. Ah? Uh, not a goal. I, I meant gassed, but you know. Ah. <laughs> Whoa! Direct hit! It is super effective, there's two of them. Go back the way you came. Come on, come on, just... Oh my god, I need a baseball bat. Come on, this one, surely. Come on. Come on. I can't even hit them. Never mind hit them back, I can't hit them. Ugh. I'd have a better chance of hitting him with the damn bow. We will lead him. And we missed completely. Eh? One? Come on. You are Robin Hood. You are Robin Hood. You are Robin Hood. You are Robin Hood. You, you missed him. You missed him. You are not Robin Hood and you never will be. Oh my god, I can't believe I keep missing. Um, come on. Okay, we give up. Okay, never mind. The arrows are gone. My my will is broken. What is that? Oh, it's just, ah, it's just Hellfire or Hellstone or whatever the hell it's called. Just hidden behind. Ah, bedrock. We're not getting anywhere, guys. Why, why aren't... This seemed really promising. We've... Oh, hello, Zion. <laughs> not seen one of you for a while, Skeleton. How are you doing? Hi, ah, trying to kill me, I see. You're kind of... Kind of working. Eh. There we go. Crippled you. And the fire again, just whizzing by my head. That sounds like a song. Eh. The fire again, whizzing by my ears, blowing up the floor below me. See, it sounds like a song. <laughs> You're getting really close with that, aren't you? What? Uh, oh god, oh god, crouch, crouch, crouch. Whew, okay. Uh, and then we encounter more Never War, and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of renewed. But, come on. Oh, that's so hit him. That's so nailed him. Ah, oh. maybe I have to jump and hit them. Maybe there's a dinner. No, okay, fine, fine. I'll leave him alone. And I think we're just kind of going back the way we came at this point. I guess I've got to loop around and hope to find. Oh, hello, more. Um, loop around and hope to just find somewhere else. A lot of this stuff hiding here. That's maybe. Whoa, 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 whoa there. We'll, um, we'll actually run because I don't... <laughs> My god, where is he? Is he following me? How frightening would that be if you just saw, like, a white, ghosty-looking creature just... Where is he? I think he's despawned or he's ran away or he's found somebody else to kill. You know what? I, he was probably intimidated. He hit me directly with a fireball and he was just like, not very effective. Time to move on. I don't want to deal with this guy anymore. He's going to be a problem. I can tell. Maybe we have to... Maybe we have to go up that way. Go up that way and loop on top of there. Maybe that's what we have to do. I, I didn't see that originally, so I'm sorry for looping back a little bit, but I've got to believe that there is there is something here. There's got to be. You see where that gas is? That's kind of the kind of the way that we're going. I don't know how far into the never we are at the moment. But I feel as though there is a lot more of it. Yeah, let's let's climb our way up here with the with the gas. There's always a gas. Why, why can't you just, I need a lot, the, the, they wouldn't be a problem if I had a lot more arrows, and because of my dwindling supplies, goodbye axe, the pickaxe is gone, um, we can say goodbye to that, I'm very tempted to, you know, I'm going to get to the top of here, then I'm going to probably cut out and restock, but look, we found more never wart. Oh god, we found loads of, well, before it was on fire, we found loads of it, oh my god, there's so much of it, there's so much. We've got to be close. Are we close here? We've got to be. There's there's no way that we are not so close to a fortress. I'm going to save some uh, some of my pickaxe because we might very well need it to progress. I think he's just hit me in the ass with a fireball. Yeah, we're going to have to find our way out of here. We have found a massive stock of of uh, of never wart, which is good, but. Um, the fact that I keep getting hit in the arse by the gas with the fire and the fact that I Oh, okay, we found a nice little cave that we can just kind of hang around in whilst we regen a little bit. But yeah, guys, it's it's looking like... 
there is no Never Fortress anywhere in sight, or at least close, so I'm just going to have to... I guess I'll just have to peace out of this, and um, I guess I'll be back in the next episode once I've restocked, and I think we'll just keep traversing the Never, because I don't know, I really like this place, I mean, maybe... No, no, I, I mean, we keep discovering new parts, because we've definitely not been here, we've not been over there, and there's more Never Wart and stuff, ah, yeah, guys, I... He tried to he tried to shoot me from inside the cave, didn't he? Yeah, I'm I'm going to be back in a sec, guys. Or actually not back in a sec. I'm going to cut this episode off here, probably, because I think we've been recording for quite a long time. And I'll be back in well, in the next episode, once I've restocked, and maybe I'll even post twice this week, because this is He's really trying to get at me. I've got to stop talking, deal with this problem. See you next episode, guys.